there are, of course, a lot of reasons to hunt geese in Call of the Wild, whether it is trying to get money, looking for cool trophies for the Trophy Lodge, or in this case, looking for a fairly quick hunt to do that has a good chance of netting us something cool. I had to take Kyla to the airport today, and I'm sure a lot of you guys do know that we got a puppy back in February, but one thing you probably don't know is a lot of the time when recording videos, Kyla takes Shadow downstairs or just somewhere where she's not going to bark or whine because she tends to do that during the hunts. And because that's a thing that uh, cannot happen today, I thought while she's sleeping, we'd probably go and do a quick hunt out here on Hirschfeld. And who knows, we might get one of the rares that we're actually after anyway. So my thought process for this hunt, as we have some of our first flock of geese coming down, is that goose hunting is something that I want to get into in real life. And I thought it would make sense to hunt with a weapon that I am likely to use. So a 12 gauge pump is probably the most likely weapon that I would go with. And just for the sake of having another option, we also have the 12 gauge gamekeeper, which I do think it would be cool to goose hunt in real life with a over under, but it's maybe not always the most practical given the fact that I would say two shots sometimes is not enough. But other than the fact that it seems like a couple got away, and we spooked another flock. I think we did halfway decent, although that guy is still flying off. That is going to be important, actually. If we mark that, we can probably go and find it. That is the brown hybrid four, I think. Pretty sure he'll go down, but it might take some time. And it should be noted as well, we do not have a 22 today, so that does kind of complicate things a little bit. We can't, or at least we shouldn't, be kind of careless with when we go and claim our geese and stuff like that. Spooking a flock of geese could send that rare that we've always been after or a level 5 far away where we're never going to find it. Now, as far as going to recover that goose that we marked the location of, I guess that's just kind of something we're going to have to risk, but right now nothing's flying by. And I would guess then this is the other 4, and it is. 7.5 gold is not bad, and that kind of does give us a good idea of the flight path. They were kind of more like down in there, I guess. Hopefully that allows us to recover it. Well, that's a little unfortunate. Not the right goose, but that one went down with two hits at basically 70 meters from the 12 gauge. I would like to think then that our other one is down as well. I've been sending Sir 12 every 20 meters or so to, to go and track and see if he does locate anything. No luck so far, but maybe he can help us or better yet. Our goose is just laying right there, so 7.2 brown hybrid there. That one was to hit at 76 meters. I did not realize we were shooting that far, so that will be something to be a little more careful about. And uh, there was another flock kind of heading towards our decoys, so maybe a fast travel and some calling might work. I don't think it's gonna. It was worth a shot anyway. But we can jump back in the layout blind now with a little less urgency and maybe kind of settle down and not be shooting things 75 meters plus. Hopefully at least this time we can do a little better with our shots. Now none of the geese in this flock are all that special. I think a level 3 was as good as it gets, so we're just going to try to take the geese that are actually in range and not worry too much about specifics. Now I'm not super confident in those last two. That actually did pretty good. Actually both of those dropped right out of the sky as we hit them a second time. That wasn't bad, and the three that are escaping are females. That's probably as good as that could have gone. Pretty happy with that. And by the way, I kind of forgot to mention in the chaos of apparently just shooting front hybrid geese way too far away, I did put on the dry grass ghillie suit. I guess the binoculars are about the best item I can hold to show that, but again, something that I want to get into as far as goose hunting, I kind of figure in a, I guess, straw field? is what this would have been. Probably dry grass gilly would work well and being in the layout blind would help, but yeah, just kind of going for a little bit of a change up. We did that on Medvid as well. Actually, two things that I completely forgot to mention in that video in terms of trying to kind of switch it up. We did not bring Sir 12 because the Bloodhounds were not out when Medved came out and I wore the Medved clothing and kind of forgot to say anything about it. You know, it's amazing when you don't have it, how much you realize the 22 is quite the crutch when it comes to goose hunting. You can kind of take those maybe riskier shots with a shotgun, and if it doesn't pay off, you've always got the 22 there to kind of save you, but as soon as you don't have it, 
realizing the necessity of getting the geese good and close and making a good shot is uh, is kind of inevitable. I just generally, when we're goose hunting, we carry the 22, and when I'm not recording videos, a lot of times any goose hunting I do is exclusively with the 22, as we have a 7.7 .7 brown hybrid, our best so far. But in my opinion, when it comes to you know, goose hunting videos and stuff like that, it doesn't make a lot of sense to just hunt with the 22. I think that's a little less than realistic. And I almost think it's fun to try to hunt with a more realistic approach. Now, when it comes to efficiency and trying to gain cash and all that kind of stuff, the 22 is probably the way to go. Having that many shots, that much range, and if you hit them in any way, you can hit them, you know, on one wing feather, and they are going to go down. Versus with the shotgun, you actually have to make a good shot. It just, it really does make a big difference to not even have it, just in case you would happen to need it. I mean, in a scenario even like this, where we're kind of spooking geese by accident. But anyway, with another round hybrid, a 4.6 female there, that is it for our first flock here at a new location. Decided to come up here to Ritterstein, an area that has traditionally produced a lot of diamond and rare geese in the past. And straight away in our second flock, our first goose with at least a potential of being diamond at level 4. That's one thing that we don't see incredibly often, but I do always see them posted in the community, so always hopeful at the very least. I did not realize we still had one shot left there in the pump, but we'll just hit that one three total times and call it good. And then I'm going to assume the blue goose was probably the big one, or... Evidently, we spotted another one after that, so maybe this guy? 8.1? Not too bad, our biggest one thus far. Well, once again, we have encountered this situation where there are just geese absolutely everywhere, and the best thing I can figure to do is just try to get as many as will offer a shot and hope for the best. Now, that first one we shot was a level 4 with the max estimates, so we can kind of hope for the best there. But I think that is probably as good as we're going to do. It's amazing how you can sit here for, you know, maybe 10 plus minutes without anything happening. And then all of a sudden three flocks are all around you and they're all there at the same time. There's not a lot to do beyond just try to basically get as many shots off as quickly as possible. Now, I thought they were a little more down that direction, but it must have been this line of geese right here. 4.8 is definitely not the big one, neither is 4.3. 7.9 would have been him. I think that'll be our second best now. Not too bad, still in a level 5s, but hopefully if we continue to change locations and keep on getting geese, eventually one will show up. I thought maybe we'd throw in a time reset along with kind of moving around, and we've been rewarded with a level 1 goose and a bunch of average size geese, so maybe the next flock will do a little bit better, but as for this one, not exactly anything special. You know, I thought that the 16 gauge from Rancho fired faster than the 12 gauge, which is a, a base game weapon. And to be honest, I'm not so sure that it actually does. Maybe it is just the fact that in the past we never would have fired it that fast, or maybe it's just kind of recency bias of getting to use the 16 gauge, but we've reached the point in this video where we always reach in, you know, goose hunts and grinding videos, stuff like that, where maybe not every single kill is included in the video. And I've found that I've been pretty consistently able to fire the 12 gauge as fast as I can recall firing the 16 gauge and been able to do so pretty effectively. Well, unfortunately, it would seem as though with Shadow being awake now, this is probably going to be our last flock. And unless I'm missing something, there does not appear to be anything all that special. Although, with it being a little bit cloudy like this, I could definitely be convinced I could kind of miss out on identifying a, a goose as being a rare. I mean, I often think back to a particular goose video, which we started off by one random goose flying by, shot it with a 22 at a distance, and it turned out to be a bald leucistic. So stuff like that can happen, especially when the lighting is not all that good. But unless one of these other ones was kind of hiding and not being all that obvious, I don't think we have any situations like that. Another gold at 7.2 for that guy. And I think this may have been our last one at 4.7. So, unfortunately, no diamonds or rares today, but kind of the way it goes. And hopefully, 
this is gonna be the only video affected by uh, not having anyone to watch Shadow while recording. Usually if I record early in the mornings, it's all good. Uh, it's just that I couldn't do that with taking Kyla to the airport today. So, like I said, hopefully the rest of the week is going to be all good. Uh, streams might be interesting, but we shall see on that front. Anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.